In this TikTok ad tutorial video, I will show you how to run the TikTok ad like a pro and start getting amazing results with your TikTok ads and marketing and even build your TikTok followers very fast if that is your goal. I believe that TikTok ad currently guarantees more amazing ad results than Facebook ads and you should really give TikTok a try. So in this video, I will show you every step on how to run a full TikTok ads campaign from the very first step of choosing an objective for your ad to the very last step of publishing that ad on the TikTok ad platform. If you're ready, let's get right to it. All right, so here is what my TikTok ad manager look like. If you don't know how to get to this point, then it means you've not set up your TikTok ad manager or you've not done it correctly. So what you want to do is to go to the link in the video description and then you're going to see a video where I already showed you how to create and set up your TikTok ad manager from anywhere in the world, either you're in Nigeria, in Africa, in Europe, in America, wherever you are, you will be able to access the TikTok ad manager. Okay, so if you watch that video, you're going to follow the step-by-step -step process and it's going to bring you up to this point. So now the first thing we want to do here is that we want to create our first campaign. Okay, we want to run our first ad. So what we want to do is that you want to come to this campaign here and click on it. Okay, so as you can see here, this is more or less a very new account. I've not run any ad before now. So what I want to do right now is that I want to come to this create button here and then I'm going to click on that. Okay, so here it's instructing me to choose my advertising objective. Okay, so now we have three different categories of objectives in the TikTok ad manager. You can actually create an awareness ad, you can create a consideration ad or a conversion ad. So here, if you want your ad to reach more people, okay, this is what you're going to choose. And here, if you want to drive traffic basically to a website or a landing page, okay, that is what you're going to choose here. And if you want video views or for any of your videos, you're going to choose video views. And then if it is community interaction, you're going to choose this one. And usually, if you're into buying and selling, the one that you really want to go for is the conversion ad. So it could be you promoting your app, it could be you wanting to collect leads or generate leads for your business, or you want to drive people to your e-commerce website to you know, convert them either to buyers or whatever it is, or you want to sell a product directly, you're going to go for this. So, okay. So for this particular one, let me go for video views. Okay. So if I want to go for video views, I will just, you know, select the video views. Of course, you should go ahead and select the one that is most relevant to your objective. And then once you choose that, you want to click on continue. All right, so here is where you're going to set your budget. If you want a daily budget, you're going to go for this daily. But if you want a lifetime budget, you're going to go for this. Okay, so lifetime budget only means that um, um, TikTok is going to, you know, be charging you every time as long as your ad is running. But if you choose a daily budget, it only means that after 24 hours, your ad is going to stop. It's not going to be charged after 24 hours. So you can go ahead and choose your own. Okay, so for me, I'm just going to go for 50 British pounds here. All right, so here they are saying you will spend between 62 GBP on some days and less on other days, okay? So if I look at this and I think that I've done a good job, I'm going to come in here and then I'm going to continue. All right, so here I'm going to just scroll all the way down. So here, if I have a saved audience before now, as you can see here, it is optional. Of course, this is a brand new ad account, so I don't expect to have had any saved audience in time past. So I'm going to leave that. And here at the demographic, you want to, this is where you want to choose your, you know, audience targeting. Okay, so here automatically it's choosing the United Kingdom for me because this particular account, I actually set it up to be a United Kingdom account. So if I don't want it to be in United Kingdom, all I need to do is to cancel here. Okay, so here are all the countries that are available for you to target. Okay, so all I need to do is just to come here, click on this, and then I'm going to just pick the country I want to target. Okay, so here I can just go for Ireland. Okay, so you can see here, once you pick a particular country, it will give you an option. Um, let's look at that again. It's going to give you, let's pick the island again. 
Okay, so it's going to give you an option to choose which particular area of Ireland you want to target. So as you can see, these are all the different locations in Ireland that I can actually target. So if I want to target Dublin City, for example, I can just select Dublin City and then I can select Kerry. And then if I'm okay with that, as you can see here, so you're not just targeting the whole of Republic of Ireland you are actually targeting specific cities okay so if i'm okay with those two i will just select them and then here i can target the age um you see i can decide to go from you know 25 to 34 but if you want all the ages to be targeted of course you leave it at all but if you want a specific you know um age group you can just go ahead and choose your age group okay so gender again if you want male if you want female but if you want both you're going to choose all and then for languages again i'm going to leave it at all of course you can choose any language of your choice okay spending power high spending power or all i'm just going to leave it at all okay so here is telling us okay which these people that you want to target is it people with high spending power or just the whole population so i think the whole population is better Okay, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to come down here again. We have more options to be able to target our audience. So if I come here, you can see here, if you want to include a particular set of people, okay, here is what, you know, you, you, you can do. Okay, so, but then I'm going, just going to look at, leave that as it is. Here again, you can also exclude people. If you don't want a specific kind of people, you know, to see your ad, you can always exclude them. So here at interest and behaviors, again, you can target by interest. So for example, if I want to target people that love, maybe um, let's say uh, I want to target business owners, I can always come here and say um, and target business owners, okay? Okay, so you can scroll down and actually pick you know, more if you think you want to you know, target more people by interest. Okay, so that's that, okay? If I just come down here, I can actually target by device again, if you want to target Android users or iOS users, of course, I'm going to leave my at all. All right, so I'll just scroll all the way down. I think for all of these, I'm just going to leave them the way they are. Okay, so here you can actually schedule your ad, set start time and run ad group continuously. If you want to do that, you can always choose yeah. Okay, but if you want to set a start and end time, okay, you can always also pick this one if that's what you want you can always pick this one okay so i'll just leave mine here all right so here they are saying you know do you want a specific time for your heart to run or you want the whole day i'll just allow the system to run the whole day for me okay and then i'm going to scroll down and then i think i'm going to leave every other thing the way they are and then i'm just going to continue all right, so it is at this point that you want to set up your ad proper. Okay, so here they're saying use TikTok account to deliver Spark ad. So you can always switch that on if you want. If you want to connect a particular account specifically, you can always connect it from here. But if you switch this off, you can see that that option is not going to be displayed for you. So it's just going to run just like that okay so you can set custom identity okay so let's come to add format if you want a single video you can always create an ad with a single video okay so here is where you want to upload your video of course remember that we are doing video views so that means my video would have been ready so if i come here and click on video i'll be able to you know so upload my video and if i've already uploaded maybe a video before now i can choose from library and here they are actually giving us opportunity to create you know a video okay so i'll go ahead and upload my video i can come here click on this i'm going to go and select my video all right ready to upload i'm going to come here and continue and then i'm going to wait for it to be uploaded Okay, so this is my video uploaded. If I click on here, you can see it here. Okay. All right. So that is good. So I'll just come in here and then I could just type a few words and say, please 
watch and share all right so i think that's just okay by me okay so here at call to action if i want a call to action i can actually switch that on so you can see here there's a dynamic call to action but if i don't want that i can always switch it off okay so that's that i'm just going to leave this other one the way it is and then destination take your viewers you know or your visitors to a different landing page but for me i want them to just watch the video on tiktok ad on the tiktok app so you can see here that my website url is not giving me any option so i'm just going to leave that and that is because of the kind of objective that i chose okay so i'll just come down here okay here they're asking if this ad contain any ai generated content if it is you can always pick that and if not you can uncheck the box so here by checking the box you authorize the ad and the associated performance metric okay so yeah you just make sure you leave it ticked okay so for tracking we're not going to talk about that right now i mean that's an advanced you know um ad setup i'm going to be talking about that in another video so you want to make sure that you subscribe to this channel if you have not done so so that when i release those videos you can get to see and follow up so for now i'm leaving tracking you know as um you know i'm leaving it blank okay i'm leaving all of that blank okay so here all i need to do if i have seen that all of this setup is well done and it's correctly set up all i need to do is just to come to publish all here and then i'm going to publish but i'm not going to be clicking the publish all button because i don't intend to run this ad right now so but this is basically all it takes how you're going to set up your tiktok ad you can see that it's very simple and like i used to say if you are used to the facebook ad setup you can see that this is almost the same thing there are just a little difference here and there so just follow it up and then make sure that you set up your ad correctly and if you choose the right objective i am very sure that you're going to get amazing results running your ad on the tiktok ad manager which is actually the best place for me you know if i want to run my ad so this is how to set up a full tiktok ad campaign to publish your ads on the tiktok ad manager if you want to see more TikTok ad tutorials and other digital marketing tips and you are not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so right now and turn on the alert notification so that YouTube can notify you when next I publish these videos. And of course, I want to keep tab on this channel because more TikTok marketing videos are going to be coming up from me in subsequent videos. So make sure you keep tab. Please give this video a like if you got value from it and help me share it on your social media handles because I know that quite a number of persons will love to see videos like this one. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video.